education is important. That's something that almost all of us have heard at some time in some way. And indeed it is. Every year around the world, people spend billions upon billions of dollars on it. And students spend a huge chunk of their lives pursuing this endeavor. So it makes it all the more worrying when you realize that education right now just isn't that good. Sure, we've come a long way since the last century and made education much more widely available. But even now, established education systems, such as the United States, still grapple with their own problems over their education systems. In this case, chronic struggles with rigor and engagement in the classroom. On the other hand, East Asian countries like China or South Korea still put too much pressure on the students. These issues are highlighted in the book, The Smartest Kids in the World and How They Got That Way by American author and journalist, Amanda Ripley. The book details the issues facing our global education systems and steps we can take to improve the situation. So how can we improve? Well, there's no better place to look than Finland, the book suggests, a country that has revolutionized their education system, combining academic rigor and student autonomy, implementing rigorous lessons and exams, and combining that with giving students more free time than their peers in other countries. Without doubt, schools now already implementing part or all of this system can learn much from this educational superpower. And it's not just Finland that has been improving their education methods. In recent years, more and more schools, including this school, SIS, have been using project-based learning to increase student engagement in the classroom by giving them more autonomy over how they want to learn and what they want to learn. For example, at Sheko International School, at the end of fifth grade, instead of a summative exam or something, like that, students are required to complete a project known as PYP exhibition, in which you research and explore, present to the local community, and take action on an issue you're passionate about. With topics ranging from plastic pollution to gender equality to healthy eating and many more, this not only gives students a chance to delve deeper and explore a subject they're passionate about, but also lets teachers more effectively grade students based on their academic ability and their social skills, since they have to complete this project in a group. Me and my group did our project on sustainable living, complete with an air photo booth, a website, decorations, and more. Though the quality of the project was questionable at best, me and I hope my team still took away many important lessons about teamwork and collaboration. But even as more and more schools modernize and effectivize the education systems, most students are still getting the short end of the stick and are still stuck with the old system. More action needs to be taken. And as is with everything, change is not easy. To some, reforming education may even feel like a waste of time when we can't even get pressing issues like climate change, poverty, plastic pollution under control. But think about it. To solve those problems, we need more innovators. And I dare say, those innovators are probably not going to come from our current education system. To change this, everyone needs to take action. From the lowliest individual to the highest ranking government officials in charge of world governments, everyone has a part to play. Whether it be as simple as editing lesson plans and reassessing students based on different standards, to full scale reboot of an entire country's education system. Every step in the right direction is better than where we are right now, standing in place. Think about that and perhaps change problems.